Are you trying to choose an email provider that won't fail you when sending high volumes of emails? In this video, I'll provide an overview of email API flexibility components as a baseline and compare MailTrap, Resend, Postmark, Mailgun, and SendGrid. Hi, and welcome to MailTrap Videos, where we explore the world of emails. I'm Tudor. Today, we'll look at email API flexibility including components like scalability and IP infrastructure, infrastructure isolation, rate limits and throttling, retry logic, queuing and batching, integration options, MailTrap's API for webhooks, the flexibility of the template engine, the ability to test emails in a safe environment, and support. There's quite a few components there, but let's start from the beginning with scalability and IP infrastructure. All providers have a cloud-based infrastructure to handle increasing traffic, but their approach to scaling does vary slightly. MailTrap scales horizontally by adding multiple MTAs in the delivery process. This happens automatically when the volume increases. The MTA setup is customizable and flexible. With the help of in-house deliverability experts, it can be adjusted to a business's sending needs. When it comes to IPs, MailTrap provides dedicated IPs free of charge for businesses that send more than 100,000 emails per month. Dedicated IPs are warmed up with an automatic sending schedule to prevent any deliverability issues. During this time, the traffic is split between dedicated and shared IPs. Shared IP pools are still monitored closely in order to maintain a high sender reputation. Recent takes a dynamic approach for gradual scaling, and it adds or removes dedicated IPs automatically based on your sending volume and the feedback from mailbox providers. Dedicated IPs with auto warm-up are available as an add-on to users who send more than 500 emails per day and use Recent's transactional scale or pro marketing plans. Postmark's infrastructure has multiple load balancers in different regions to maintain high delivery speeds and to handle high volume sending. Postmark also offers a dedicated IP as an add-on for users who send more than 300,000 emails per month. The warm-up process can be managed by Postmark or by the user. The shared IP pools also have a good reputation, maintained through strict controls on bounce and spam complaint rates. Apart from cloud-based infrastructure, Mailgun has a rapid-fire delivery SLA as a guarantee for fast delivery at high volumes. Mailgun provides access to dedicated IPs for users sending 50,000 emails per month or more on a foundation plan, but it only includes it in the pricing starting from 100,000 emails per month. SendGrid has distributed load balancers across the globe to process large volumes of emails quickly. And to aid scalability, it also allows users to split traffic between several dedicated IPs, which are available starting from the Pro plan for email API and the Advanced plan for marketing campaigns, but to users sending more than 100,000 emails per month. Warm-up is handled automatically, and additional dedicated IPs are available as an add-on. So, Postmark and SendGrid use distributed load balancers to handle large volumes of emails. Resend scales using multiple dedicated IPs, Mailgun has rapid-fire delivery SLA, and MailTrap scales horizontally and provides a customizable setup. Moving on to infrastructure isolation, it aids deliverability, especially if you are sending different types of emails, like transactional notifications, marketing campaigns, and bulk emails. This can be done from multiple domains, IPs, or with separate infrastructure for user-triggered and promotional emails. MailTrap has separate streams and endpoints for transactional and bulk emails, so that the reputation of one stream doesn't influence the others. Additionally, MailTrap has a multi-tenancy feature that allows for using different domains for different tenants. Similar to streams, the reputation of one domain remains isolated from the other. Recent, for example, doesn't use separate streams for transactional and bulk emails. All types of emails are routed through one stream. Recent does, however, support multiple domains. Still, it's unclear how they're isolated to maintain reputation. Postmark's infrastructure, on the other hand, is similar to MailTrap's, as it uses separate infrastructures for transactional and promotional emails. To manage different tenants or customers, Postmark uses servers, which you can think of as folders. If one server has a poor reputation, it doesn't necessarily impact the others. With Mailgun, you can send transactional, bulk, and marketing emails, but there's no infrastructure isolation. Different customers can be managed via sub-accounts. However, this feature is available for enterprise customers only. Mailgun does provide an option to add multiple domains. Similar to Mailgun, 
SendGrid allows you to send all types of emails from their infrastructure, but it doesn't have separate streams. To isolate emails, you can assign different IP pools to marketing and transactional emails. However, SendGrid recommends using the sub-user feature to isolate sending streams. This feature can also be used to manage multiple tenants. As we saw, Mailgun and SendGrid support multi-tenancy without necessarily isolating sending streams. Postmark and MailTrap provide both multi-tenancy and infrastructure isolation. And Resend uses one stream for all types of emails, but it's possible that it has multi-tenancy capabilities. Apart from a scalable and isolated infrastructure, a flexible email API should have features for delivery optimization and managing failures. These include rate limits and throttling, queuing, retry logic, and batching. We'll compare providers based on this criteria in just a moment. But in the meantime, why don't you click the subscribe button and turn on notifications for more useful content, like this video, for example. All right, back to the limits. MailTrap doesn't have any rate limits for API calls for either single or bulk emails. The deliverability team can help set up throttling and customize it for each domain. This can help balance the email spikes and deliver messages without interruption. MailTrap also has queuing. Instead of sending the entire load altogether, the platform will send it gradually to protect deliverability. Users can also set up and manage queues on their side by customizing their code. To deal with transient failures, MailTrap will retry sending for 24 hours. If the email can't be delivered during that time, it will bounce and the address will be added to the suppression list automatically. MailTrap also supports batching. The batch API endpoints can accept 500 emails per API call, with a payload size limit of 50 megabytes. This is true whether you're using transactional or bulk endpoints. Resend has a default maximum rate limit of two requests per second, but it can be increased for trusted senders upon request. The throttling logic, if any, isn't shared publicly, while the queues are managed automatically within the batch API. Speaking of which, Resend's batch API accepts 100 emails per API call, at the time of making this video, Resend doesn't have automatic retries, but this may change in the future. Retries are managed by the users via idempotency keys to prevent sending the same email multiple times. Postmark doesn't have rate limits, and it automatically throttles the send rate to service providers. Postmark also uses queuing when the platform has trouble processing the emails or when message stream sending is paused because of high bounce rates, spam rates, or other reasons. If delivery fails, Postmark will retry most domains every 10 minutes for up to 12 hours before it bounces the message. But this could be different for different domains. Similar to MailTrap, Postmark's batch API endpoint accepts 500 messages per API call with a maximum payload size of 50 megabytes. Mailgun has rate limits, but the exact threshold is not disclosed. You can increase these limits by contacting support. The platform has automatic queuing to optimize send rates and to ensure deliverability, as well as the ability to set up custom queues for bulk emails. Mailgun has a defined retry schedule that, you guessed it, retries failed deliveries for 8 hours in varying intervals. And when it comes to batching, Mailgun has a batch API that allows you to send emails to 1000 recipients per API call. SendGrid has rate limits too, but they're quite generous, allowing you to make up to 10,000 requests per second with up to 1,000 recipients per email. SendGrid automatically queues emails to manage the send rate, and users can set up custom queues. To deal with temporary failures, SendGrid retries email sending for up to 72 hours. SendGrid does support batch sending, but it treats it differently. It allows you to group multiple scheduled send requests together as batches and identify them with a batch ID, so there are no specific rate limits for batching. MailTrap and Postmark have no API rate limits and provide built-in queuing, retry logic, and throttling, with MailTrap offering customizable throttling. Mailgun and SendGrid have rate limits and queuing, though SendGrid's limits are more generous, while Resend lacks automatic retries and shares limited details about throttling. All providers support batching, but SendGrid's batching logic is more about grouping scheduled sends rather than sending multiple recipients at the same time. Now, let's see what integration options each ESP has. All ESPs have SMTP, APIs, and SDKs to start sending emails easily, as well as third-party integrations. Third-party integration is where the providers do differ slightly. MailTrap integrates with Zapier and can connect with more than 5,000 apps with a simple workflow. The Zapier integration makes it possible to automate processes like sending an email and managing contacts. Similar integrations are coming soon for make.com and na10.io.
MailTrap also integrates with Supabase to sync your Supabase user base with MailTrap contacts. When the user information is created or updated, the changes are reflected in MailTrap directly. MailTrap also has AI integration via its MCP server that allows you to send emails from various environments with just a prompt. Resend has several no-code, AI, notification, and developer tool integrations. Similarly, Postmark integrates with CMS, marketing, and other platforms. Mailgun has multiple integrations for CRM, e-commerce, marketing, and other platforms as well. SendGrid integrates with platforms like Make.com and Blender.io and provides a partner ecosystem as well. So, Mailgun has more integration options with third-party platforms compared to other providers, but MailTrap and Resend stand out with their MCP servers and AI integrations. In addition to third-party integrations, you also need the Webhooks API to receive real-time notifications on events like bounces, spam complaints, delivery status, and more. All providers have a Webhook API, but the events that they allow you to track do vary. With MailTrap's Webhook API, you can track email sending events like delivery, bounce, unsubscribe, spam complaint, reject, soft bounce, suspension, open, and click. These can be tracked separately per domain for transactional and bulk streams. For enterprise users, the Webhook API can be used to receive notifications about activity logs where users take specific actions in their accounts. This is important for security purposes and it does help with debugging if anything goes wrong. Before activating the webhook, you can test it to make sure that it works as intended. Resend's webhook API sends notifications on delivery statuses and the creation, update, or deletion of domains and contacts. It's unclear right now if you can create webhooks per domain or by email type. Paid plans can use up to 10 webhook endpoints. With Postmark's webhook API, you can track delivery events such as delivery, bounce, spam complaint, open, click, and subscription change. Webhooks can be created for each stream. Mailgun's Webhook API provides data about delivery events such as accepted, delivered, clicks, spam complaints, unsubscribes, and permanent or temporary failures. Webhooks can be configured at a domain level. Similarly, the SendGrid Webhook API sends delivery, engagement, and account activity event data to the user. The number of available webhooks does vary based on the plan. Most providers take a similar approach to webhooks. However, SendGrid and MailTrap allow you to track activity logs in addition to email events, and Resend has separate logs for domain and contact-related events. To personalize large volumes of emails, businesses need an email service provider with a flexible template engine that supports variables and renders them dynamically. MailTrap has a Templates API for creating and managing templates, but templates can also be edited in the UI using HTML and drag-and-drop editors. Templates operate using the Handlebars engine, which supports variable replacement and conditional statements. The customer data can be passed as a JSON object, and the engine will render it in place of variables. Most of the major MailTrap SDKs support template sending, and this functionality is being added to the rest of the SDKs as well. Resend doesn't have built-in templates. These can be built manually using React Email or other libraries. Postmark has an API, as well as an HTML editor in the UI, for managing templates. The platform uses the Mustachio templating engine, which supports variables, dynamic content detection, complex keys, and more. Mailgun has a template API and drag-and-drop and HTML editors to create and edit templates from the UI. Its templates are very similar to MailTraps, as they operate on the Handlebars engine and have the same functionalities. Mailgun templates support versioning using tags. This feature can be helpful for A-B testing different versions or modifying the template for future campaigns. Finally, SendGrid has a template API for dynamic transactional emails and the ability to manage templates from the UI. The templating language is handlebars with variables, conditional statements, iterations, and versioning. So, all providers except for Resend have templates that can be managed with the API. MailTrap, SendGrid, and Mailgun templates operate using the Handlebars engine, while Postmark has its own Mustachio engine. Before you send emails to your customers, especially at scale, it's important to test them in a safe environment to make sure that the variables render correctly, that the links are working properly, the API performs as expected, and so on. Each provider treats testing differently. So, let's see what options you might have. MailTrap has a sandbox for testing emails. It captures all of the sending traffic in a safe environment to ensure that none of the test emails reach your actual customers. 
The sandbox allows inspecting HTML CSS rendering, spam scoring, header validation, and template testing with the API. The testing process can be automated with the Sandbox API. The Sandbox also supports automatic and manual forwarding to preview the emails in the desired email client. Additionally, you can use the Bounce emulator to check the SMTP client's behavior when the server responds with an error. Recent doesn't have a full-fledged testing solution like MailTrap, but it does provide several testing addresses that can be used to test delivery, bounces, and spam complaints. Postmark allows users to create a sandbox server to test API functionalities, templates, webhooks, and more. And similar to MailTrap, Postmark doesn't deliver sandbox emails to recipients. Unlike MailTrap, on the other hand, Postmark doesn't have spam analysis or HTML validations. It does have a black hole email address for generating fake bounces without affecting deliverability. Mailgun has two products for testing. Mailgun Inspect helps with testing accessibility, image rendering, and email components like buttons, links, CDAs, and so on. While Mailgun Optimize is for testing deliverability with email previews, block list monitoring, spam trap monitoring, inbox placement tests, and more. There is also a test mode that simulates email sending without delivering the message. SendGrid has an email testing feature available for all marketing campaign plans and for the Email API Pro plan. With this feature, users can test inbox rendering, run a spam test, and validate links. Similar to other providers, SendGrid has a sandbox mode for regular emails and templates. While all email services offer some sort of testing capabilities, MailTrap Sandbox stands out as a comprehensive solution that can be used for template inspection, API testing, testing automation, and more. Plus, all plans have free access to 100 test credits each month. One final, although important, component I'll briefly talk about today is support. MailTrap offers 24-7 human support via tickets for all customers, and chat and priority support starting at the business plan. The customer support team includes developers and deliverability experts that can help with any in-depth questions you might have. Resend offers ticket and Slack support with first and next response SLAs. Primary support hours are 1 p.m. to 12 a.m. GMT Monday through Friday. Postmark has ticket support during workdays between 3 a.m. and 7 p.m. EST. Mailgun has ticket support for all plans and phone and chat support for the scale plan. SendGrid support varies greatly between plans and ranges from ticket and chat to phone. Support is available Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. U.S. Pacific, excluding major U.S. holidays. 24-7 support is available for specific plans with a guaranteed one-hour response time. As you saw in this video, APIs from email services are similar in important functions like single sends, batch sending, webhooks, templates, and delivery optimization features. But there are still major differences. Resend has great documentation, developer tools, and all of the features needed to create and send emails. Postmark has great deliverability. Mailgun guarantees speedy delivery even at high volumes. SendGrid has a robust architecture to handle millions of emails without interruption. MailTrap, on the other hand, combines great deliverability, scalable architecture, deliverability assistance, and 24-7 support. Plus, it has more customization options than other providers, so it may be a better fit for growing businesses. That's all for today. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos, in which we'll compare email API flexibility among different providers in more detail. Meanwhile, why not check out this playlist to see how MailTrap works in different use cases? See you there!